Today, I'm making a video about my Notion homepage. What's the first thing that I see when I open Notion? And how does it make me more productive? How does it make me squeeze more potential out of Notion? Before I get into today's video, I just wanna let you guys know that this is going to be great if you're a note taker, a student, uh, a personal Notion user, or like somebody who's using Notion in their career or their business. Uh, if you're using Notion for anything outside of that, I'm not sure this will be good. I use Notion first as really a note-taking app, second as a project management software, and third to just keep personal notes. So that's just an idea of how my homepage works and like what I make Notion videos about. So when it came to designing my homepage, I decided to focus on what I think really drives us in life, and that is our goals. Okay, so as you can see here, your eyes probably drawn to this North Star year and month. These are kind of the, the places that I put my goals and break them down into. I think that everyone needs a North Star in whatever area they're in. I typically stick to business in my Notion area and like and things like that. So um, there is some personal stuff in here, but um, anything that you see highlighted in green here, is related to my business. Anything you see in yellow is like personal related. Uh, I did remove my tasks for the week just because I wanted some privacy. I didn't really wanna have all of my tasks listed out in here. And I also had some names of some YouTube videos that I'm going to be creating in here, so I wanted to get rid of them. Um, but this is where you would enter tasks essentially. And they are just like to-do, uh, these to-do modules in Notion. So you can literally just write out a task here under Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Let's say, film video about Notion homepage. And then what I would do is actually like, if it's Monday, you can drag that out a little bit and you can make it a little bit bigger um, just so it's easier to see. But what I would do is I would highlight this and I would highlight it with the color of the goal that it corresponds to. Um, if it's a personal goal, you can make it yellow. And if it's a business goal, I just make it green. And then once I complete the task, boom, done with that. Uh, boom, done with that, boom, done with that. And if I don't complete a task for a day, I will just drag it over to the next day typically, and I will just you know make the necessary tweaks. Um, and until things get done, like let's say that's not done now, I would just move it over to the next day. So I don't know why I can't move it actually. Oh, there we go. So I'd move it over to the next day. And then if it didn't get done again, I'd move it over to the next day. That's really like why I like Notion as like a basic to-do list. Um, I use my whiteboard back here as well as a to-do list, but I think uh, Notion works well for just having them all right here and I can kind of see my week. But I also on my homepage have like my year and my month. Now you'll notice that on the year, I drill down into habits because really, if you've ever read the book uh, Atomic Habits, you definitely should if you haven't, but if you've ever read it, um, they talk about how basically your goals can be, uh, they can be derived down to habits. Um, or habits can be derived from your goals, essentially. So you wanna have habits that are leading you in the direction of your goal because a goal is really nothing without a habit. It's just gonna get done and then you'll never continue with it essentially. And that's just my philosophy on goals and habits. So for every goal, for every long-term goal, I try to build a habit along with it. So if I'm revamping my website, I wanna make it a daily or bi-daily, like every other day, improve, uh, habit to improve my website and add content constantly because that's really important for SEO. If I wanna grow my YouTube channel, what I really need to do is I need to post two to three times per week. If I want to travel three times per year, per year, I need to book quarterly trips. I need to make it all habits, right? Um, so these yearly goals are based on my North Star, my big goal to become the best marketing agency in Michigan and beyond. And within there, I've got this drop down here. It drills into how I'm going to do that or how I'm going to quantify that. All right. So that is an idea of how I kind of like set my goals. I have a North Star, I have a year, yearly goal. This gets changed every year. Then I have month, and this will essentially be like our main focus for the month. And then from there, I can enter in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, over and over and over again. And if you ever are complete with something, like let's say we complete all these tasks, uh, they can be dragged into the 
archive up here. This is essentially just my glorified trash can. Um, and I just drag things into here all day. Um, so yeah, it just basically gets filled up with a bunch of junk. Uh, and then like, let's say I completed a uh, goal for the year. I would just strike that out and move it to archive, for instance. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna move that to archive. I'm just gonna keep that for now. All right, and then you might notice that I have like some projects up here. Um, I have a website checklist because I'm actually building a website right now and I'm working on completing that. So that's, this is just in the form of a checklist, this project is, but I also have projects like this one that are tables. Okay, now I removed all of these out of here because these are all of my upcoming videos. I don't want you guys to see these. I don't want any spoilers. So I removed them, but I can still show you guys how this works. So essentially I've created a template for whenever a new video gets logged into the system. Whenever I film a new video, I hit this button right here and I hit video name. And then I just enter video name here. So for this one, it would be like, once I complete this, I'm gonna put in uh, Notion, Notion homepage tutorial, something like that. And then on the checklist here, what I can do is I can actually link in the video or the video folder that I want the editor to use or to pull from, okay? So the editor can click here and they can download the videos and I just turn it into a folder in Google Drive and then share it with them right there. Um, and this will just load in as you can see, um, some videos, cool. Okay, so they can download them there and then this also serves as a checklist. So as they're uh, finishing the video, they can check off all of these tasks and then once they're all complete, they can come back here um, and this one I didn't set a due date for, but I would normally set a due date. Um, once they completed the checklist, they can click that checklist complete. And you can also add a responsibility just to notify the person who needs to edit the video. And then also some just basic high level notes. Um, like let's say, uh, don't forget to cut the beginning. Something along that, those lines uh, for, this, for this case. But that's what I would do. And then I would add you know, more videos in the future by hitting new video name and then going through that same process again. So that's how I work with a lot of my projects. This is the only project that I currently have like up here that I'm working with others on. So that's right there right now. Uh, website checklist, this is kind of a personal project. As I said, that's literally just like a bulleted list. Um, old tasks and pages, this is, as I said, an archive for all my old junk. And then resources. Resources is where I put like my sitemap for my website. Um, I have all notes here. This is my famous all notes section that you guys, uh, like a lot. This is like my notes database. Um, I've made lots of videos on that. You should check them out. And then like, I have a color guide here, right? So this, these are the colors I use for my website and what I use them for exactly. And if you, uh, click into these, you'll see what the color looks like. I took a screenshot of it and put it in there. You'll get the color code, uh, and what you use it for. So use for links and hover buttons. And this is kind of just a quick scrappy color guide that I put together. So it's a nice resource. All right, so essentially that is my homepage of Notion. As you can see up here, I put a cover photo in of like my Greenline Media background. Um, you know, you can put any sort of cover photo in here. So that's pretty cool. And you can also, of course, change your logo right here um, where you can upload something, right? So pretty cool. That's my homepage. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment below. Let me know. See you guys in the next video.